it feels like a really big problem is just that Facebook has a news feed at all. Like it's not just yeah. posts that people are sharing, but it's also that they have this sort of section of their page that says news feed and they're not a news organization. They don't have journalists and um, it really is just sort of uh, an example of how Facebook is trying to become the internet yeah. and the source of all information. And for a lot of people, that is the only source of information for their news. So, you know, I, I'm interested in like, how do we go forward, especially when you're talking to these companies that have a vested interest in being sort of the entire internet yeah. and there's just a few companies and then we have actual journalists that are losing their jobs across the country and we don't have actual journalism taking place. So this is a great question. And let me tell you what I think the problem is with Facebook, okay? And one that they recognize, which is that, and it goes back to this small d democratization of information. The thing, what you, and you, you put your sort of nail on the head there, or hit the nail on the head, which is that the news feed really isn't about news, right? And so what Facebook does is it organizes all communication in the same way. So that whether it is a, you know, a video of your son's graduation or a Kim Kardashian promotion or a uh, article from Breitbart or an op-ed for the New York Times or just a communication from your friends, it's basically organized in all of the same ways, right? So we don't have any of the cues, the information cues that we have in the offline world replicated in the online world. So that if you go up to a supermarket checkout counter, right, and you see a publication as you approach the register that says, you know, for example, Hillary Clinton, part of satanic cult in Washington in a pizza joint, right? Um, you are probably going to discount that. You probably discount it no matter what. But you certainly are going to discount it as you go toward the cash register because you know what the National Enquirer, the Weekly World News and the like are, right? But when it's organized in front of you in your Facebook news feed alongside every other kind of information that you have, right, it doesn't have some of the same triggers and signals that you would have uh, in the offline world. And so that's one of the, so what they need to do is try to figure out ways to develop the, those information cues. Now, one way that they've tried to do this, and it, and it directly answers your question, is that they, they're doing an experiment right now that they've done in Sri Lanka and uh, four other countries where they've tried to take the news out of the news feed. I don't know if you've heard about this. Right? So they said, all right, let's take the actual journalism, take it from the news feed, and put it in a separate news. The journalists in that country, the media organizations, lost 40% of their traffic. Wow. Right? And it's like, best of all intentions, I think. Right? But, but because the media environment in these countries has adapted to Facebook and Google being the main pipes to which they're going to end up um, being, you know, getting the news, right? And so, you know, again, they're damned if they do, damned if they don't. Uh, and the question is, how can we maybe sort of uh, drive them in the right direction? Mm -hmm.